CEO Ron Hook from Creative Universe. I want to give you a little bit of education about really what goes into making a bowling ball. So check this out. When you make a bowling ball, the material that you use to make the bowling ball reactive is called texanol or plasticizer. Plasticizer is what makes your bowling ball reactive. If you have a urethane bowling ball, it does not have texanol, it does not have plasticizer in it. But here's what's interesting. Texanol, plasticizer, if you ever take your bowling ball and allow it to get warm, like let, let it get really, really hot. If you leave it in your car, if you put it in an oven, you can get, you can see your bowling ball begin to sweat. And you're like, oh, that's oil. But I want to kind of show you what's really happening with that. So right over here, I got a couple, two cups of water, two cups of water. This is actually land oil, and this is actually the plasticizer. So check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put a little bit of texanol in this cup, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this cup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to take a look at what these materials look like when they're stirred up in some water. A lot of times people go, oh, well, you know, these materials, I see all this stuff coming out of my bowling ball. But when you look at that, they actually look to be the exact same. You can see that film on the surface of the, of the cup. And what that is is the plasticizer and or the oil both have risen to the top. So what's going to happen is when that bowling ball heats up, you're going to actually have the plasticizer and the oil come to the surface of the bowling ball. The oil will only absorb into the track area. It doesn't go all over the bowling ball. But yet when your bowling ball gets hot, the whole bowling ball sweats. That's because you're also sweating out plasticizer. Now you say, man, I go to the pro shop and they put my bowling ball in an oven or a detox. And is that messing it up too? No, the reason being is the pro shop uses controlled heat and they use, a, they use a process that allows it to slowly warm the bowling ball up to temperature to get some of the plasticizer out, to get the oil out, and to not completely destroy the bowling ball. But you do it in your car, you leave it, you put it in your oven, you do it your person some sort of personal way, you've got a great chance of being able to dry that bowling ball out. If you take too much of that out, this is what happens. The bowling ball will crack because it gets dry. The bowling ball gets brittle, the bowling ball gets dry, the bowling ball is more prone to crack. So if you want to keep your bowling ball in a good condition and don't allow it to get like this, make sure you take care of it. Keep it at ambient te temperature. Keep it at room temperature, wherever you can. Don't let it stay in your car when you're getting ready to go bowl league. And that also applies to being cold, because when it gets cold, that ain't good either. But that happens. That's opposite happens. The cover stack actually will constrict against the core. That'll also make it really, really easy for it or easier for it to be able to crack and break. Just some little tips right there to be able to help you take care of your bowling ball and a little education and understanding on why bowling balls are what they are. With that being said, I'm out of here. CEO, Ron from Creative Difference. Talk to you soon.